Well, let's start with the big story that we are tracking at this hour. We're calling for Pakistan to be declared as a terror state. A former U.S. senator has described Islamabad as being more dangerous than nuclear-armed North Korea. Now, according to a report, ex-senator Larry Presler, who has also served as chairman of the U.S. Senate's Arms Control Subcommittee, fears that the Pakistani nuclear arsenal could well be sold in the black market and could even be used against the United States itself. Terming both North Korea and Pakistan as rogue nations, Presler claimed that Pakistan does not have a central command and control structure to prevent the theft and sale of atomic weapons. Now, the former U.S. Senator said in I quote, Pakistan's weapons could be transported to the United States fairly simply, just as 9-11 was a very simple operation run by just 20 or 30 people. The Pakistani nuclear bombs are not controlled and they are subject for sale or being stolen and they could easily be gotten out of Pakistan to just about anywhere in the world. Unquote. This essentially is the fear that Larry Presler has, has spoken about talking essentially about the tactical nuclear weapons, which are small-grade, small nuclear weapons, which are used by the U.S. Army and also by the Pakistani Army as well. The Presler has demanded that the United States declare Pakistan as a terror state. He was the mastermind of the 1990 Presler Amendment, which had blocked military aid in the sale of weapons to Pakistan, including the F-16 fighter jets. Now, Presler's amendments had changed the dynamics of the U.S. relationship with Pakistan forever.